Hi, my name's Marshall. Today I'm going to show you Lockup Mate Plus in a Toyota 150 Series Prado. So the first thing I'll introduce to the gauge is this is an ultra gauge. Um, it's all off at the moment. Um, this doesn't come with the kit. Um, Lockup Mate comes with this adjustable LED switch. And that's all you see. It's mounted discreetly here on the A-pillar. And you can adjust it to your own driving position. When you turn the vehicle on, the first thing you'll see is that the LED is pulsing. Um, I've set the warm-up temperature at the moment to 40 degrees. It's at 39 at the moment on the ultra gauge. And when it's up to operating temperature, uh, until it's up to operating temperature, the LED pulses just to let you know that it's working properly and it's just waiting. Okay, it's up to temperature now. You see the LED's off. Now from now on the LED just provides you status. So the LED comes on uh, when the torque converter is locked um, or it flashes at you to alert you that you need to um, change down a gear if you're slipping too much. Now in terms of operating the unit while you're driving, there are only really three things uh, that you can do. The first one is to turn it on and off. So if you just push the LED switch, it's now off. So you can see as I put my foot down a bit, it unlocks the torque, well the torque converter is unlocked. Turn it on again, just a little push. It's a long flash, so it's on. Now the torque converter is locked. So I put my foot down, it stays locked. The way Lockup Mate works when you're in drive is because the transmission's changing gears as you're accelerating, it actually waits for the gear change to stabilise before it then locks the torque converter. So I'll demonstrate that now if I just take off. The transmission's going through the gears and generally it changes gear uh, too early to maintain lockup from slow speeds. Once you get to the speed that you're after, it's now locked up. So that's how it operates in drive. When you go to sport mode, it's different. What it will do is as soon as you get to the changes into the gear that you've got selected, it will lock up as soon as the conditions are right. So for example, if I choose second gear and then accelerate away. So now it's in second gear and you see it's locked up and it will stay locked up. So I can now drive away using it like a manual going to fifth. Gear changes are very smooth, barely noticeable, and essentially you're driving it like a clutchless manual. So driving in these conditions, it's quite slow speed, it's up to 60 kilometres an hour, you see the torque converter's not locked, slight hills, and that's because the car's selected fifth gear. If you want to keep it locked, just move across into fourth gear, you see the torque converter's now locked, and it will stay that way. I often get asked what makes MM 4x4 lockup kits different. Uh, there's several things. The first one is the LED switch. It's very simple to install and it shows you the status of the lockup right in the driver's eye line. Another reason is it's completely computer controlled. Even down to the pulse width modulation control of the lockup solenoid, it mimics the factory profiles, which means it engages it gently and causes a nice smooth transition from unlock to lock condition. Another reason is Lockup Mate uses the CAN bus of the vehicle to listen to all the various different computers and understand what's happening. So it will listen to the speed, your current gear, your selected gear in your sport mode, the RPM and use all of that information to determine the right time to lock up the torque converter, including the pedal position of your accelerator. So it will actually unlock it if the load's too high or you're going too slow, but it'll also warn you if you're in that situation where you're slipping a lot, and the LED will flash, reminding you to change down a gear if you want to regain lockup. It's completely fully automatic in operation. Basically, just turn it on and forget about it. Lockup Mate doesn't use a simple speed to control lockup on or off. Uh, those types of systems are prone to throwing error codes, or causing the factory computer to throw an error code. Lockup Mate instead, because it uses all that information available about what the vehicle's doing, 
it actually works in harmony with the transmission computer. And it actually hands control of the torque converter lockup from lockup mate back to the factory computer depending on what mode of operation the factory computer is in and what the conditions are. It's a very advanced, very intelligent control. A feature unique to lockup mate is the clutch protection technology. Lockup mate won't just lock up at a speed, it analyzes all the information including the gear, your RPM, your speed and how much slip and how much load you have. And it will only engage the clutch when you're within the same limits of the factory computer would. So this is to avoid excessive wear on the clutch itself. So I'll demonstrate that feature for you now. So under medium acceleration, I'll get it to around 80 kilometers an hour. And as I back off, you'll see now it locks up. So it's within the slip limits. Now I'll just slow down to 60. And if you had a, a kit that say engaged at a fixed speed of 70 kilometers an hour, you can see I've now got about a thousand RPM of slip. It would have engaged with that high slip condition. You see at 80, it's now engaged. Now if I accelerate more gently from 60, there'll be less slip. So I'll do that now. And you can see that now if I back off a little bit, there you go, it's now engaged. So it's protecting the clutch by not engaging it until the slip is low, which will extend the, the life of the clutch and it uses exactly the same criteria as the factory computer. Once it's locked up though, it's a lot more difficult to unlock than what the factory computer does. So if I put my foot down a bit, it remains locked. I'm in a hundred zone here. I go up to a hundred and just cruise. The ASIN transmission also has a flex lockup mode of the torque converter. Uh, at the moment, when you go just above 60 under light throttle in fifth, you see the lights on, it's actually in flex lockup mode at the moment. And once we get to about 70 under light throttle, lockup mate actually takes over from the factory computer. Yeah, engine braking is something that is improved with the lockup kit. So if I move across to sport mode now, can bring it back to third gear, nice smooth downshift. And as we climb on the other side of that hill, you see it remains locked. So we're doing about 1500 RPM, the engine loads only 30%, it quite comfortably stays locked in these conditions. But if I put my foot down, it'll unlock so you get a bit more power. And if you're driving in a situation like this, where it's unlocked, the blue light's off, and you want it to lock up, just pull it back a gear, and then it locks up immediately. If it goes into conditions where it's able to lock up, it'll lock up straight away. The lock up mate has a feature that it'll flash the LED to ward you if you're slipping the torque converter for too long. So in this situation, it's slipping, it's not locked up in a situation deliberately and you can see now the LED starts flashing. What it's telling you to do is change back to fourth if you want to get it locked up. And there it goes. Lockup mate also works in low range for drive. So I'll switch into low range. Uh, lockup mate has now automatically detected that you're in low range and the way that it controls the lock lockup is now different. What it will do is use the revs, the RPM, so if I just accelerate away now into second, now it goes into second, and now it's locked. So I can go to third, fourth, when it wants to change gears, there it goes, and it remains locked. And then it should slow down automatically unlocks it for you. So if you're climbing in the high country, um, up those steep hills that could go for seven, eight kilometres, transmission gets incredibly hot. What you're better off doing is trying to climb in second gear where you can. You'll find most of the hills you can climb in second. 
and only use first for when you're in very steep sections where you actually need to and that'll help keep your transmission cool. Well I hope you enjoyed the short demonstration of Lockup Mate in the Toyota Prado 150.